hydraulic systems are used widely in moving mechanism to obtain a large force by the application of a much smaller force. A hydraulic jack can be used for lifting heavy loads such as cars. Hydraulic jack works based on Pascal's principle. When a small input force is applied to the handle of the jack, a large output force which is able to lift the car is produced. This forces the oil to move along the tube close valve A and open valve B. The pressure produced by the force applied is transmitted through the oil to the large piston. Thus, the large piston is pushed up by a large force. When the handle is lowered, the small piston moves back, but oil cannot flow back through valve B, so the large piston stays up. To lower the large piston, the release valve has to be opened to allow the oil to flow back into the reservoir. A hydraulic lift consists of two cylinders of different diameters. Each of the cylinders is fitted with a piston and filled with oil. When a switch is pressed on, compressed air is pumped into the small cylinder to exert a force F1 and a pressure on the oil. This pressure is transmitted through the oil to the large cylinder. Thus, a force F2 which is strong enough to lift a heavy load such as a car is produced. Hydraulic brakes are used in use of braking force on all the wheels simultaneously at the instant the brake pedal is applied. There are two types of brake used in a car, disc brakes at the front wheels and drum brakes at the back wheels. When the brake pedal is pressed by the driver's foot, pressure is exerted on the brake fluid by the large piston in the master cylinder. This pressure is transmitted through the brake fluid to all the small cylinders of the wheels. At the front wheels, the small piston A exerts a force to push the brake shoes against two pieces of steel discs. Thus, the car is slowed down or stopped by the frictional force between the brake shoes and the steel discs. At the back wheels, the small piston B exerts a force to push the brake shoes apart against the brake drum. This causes the car to slow down or stop. When the brake pedal is released, the small pistons A and B return to their initial positions. A spring connecting the two brake shoes at the back wheels contract and pull them away from the brake drum. The wheel is then free to rotate again. Thank you for taking time to watch this.